how to configure Scanto Network Folder, otherwise known as Scanto SMB. If you are looking for troubleshooting recommendations instead, please click the link shown on your screen or in the description. Part 1. Sharing the target network folder in Windows. Please note that this function is also supported by macOS and Linux. If you are using one of these operating systems, you will need to ensure that the SMB protocol is enabled. You don't need to do this in Windows. From Windows, create a folder that you would like the Brother device to scan into. In this example, I am using a folder called Training. To share it, simply right click it. Then left click the Properties option. From the Properties window, click the Share button. Ensure that at least one local user or domain user is in this list and that they have read and write permissions. When you have done this, make note of the network path shown here as it will be needed later. Part 2 Setting the SMB protocol version Scanta Network Folder uses the SMB protocol for transferring scan data to the shared network folder. By default, Brother devices are configured to auto-discover and match the SMB version your computer or server is using. If you want to change this default behaviour so that your Brother device only communicates using its latest supported SMB version, you can. This setting can be found in the Protocol section of your device's web server. If you would like me to show you how to do this, please click the link on your screen or in the description where I will take you through the configuration process. Part 3 Configuring the Scanter Network Folder Profile Please note that some settings may look slightly different on your device. Open a web browser and type the IP address of your brother device in order to access its internal web server. Then, type in its admin password and click the login button. Find and click the scan option. Then click the scan to FTP, SFTP, network, SharePoint option. From one of the available profiles, select the network option. Then scroll to the bottom of the page and click the submit button. From the navigation menu, click the Scan to FTP, SFTP, Network, SharePoint Profile option. Then click the profile that you selected earlier. In this example, I used the first one. Give the profile a name. This name will also be visible to end users from the Brother device. Next, specify the location of the shared network folder. This is the same location that can be found in the properties of the shared folder. From the range of options shown here, decide how you want the Brother device to present your scanned files, including type, quality and if you want to password protect them. Now it is time to configure the authentication starting with type. If you are unsure which one to use, select the Auto option. Enter the username that has read and write access to the shared network folder you specified earlier. In this example, the user is called SMB. The word Win11 before the username is the host name of the Windows 11 computer hosting the shared folder and because the user SMB is local to that computer. For domain users, this would be the domain NetBIOS address instead. Next, type the corresponding password 
for this user. When you are ready, click the Submit button. It is recommended to let your brother device test your settings by clicking the Yes button. If your settings are OK, you will see a Test OK message. If your settings did not work, you will see this or a similar looking message instead. For troubleshooting recommendations, please click the link in the description. Thank you.